We are in the heart of rice growing country in the great state of Arkansas. I think this is the first time they've seen these drones. It's gonna be wild. All right, how's it going folks? I'm Mike with New Way Ag. If this is your very first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe. Me and the boys, we got Landon behind the camera. We got Jay driving right now. Matt in the back seat. We are headed to Arkansas. We're gonna do a demo down there on some rice fields with these drones and also show this trailer to the farmers down there. This trailer is legit. If you need one, get a hold of us. But we're gonna be driving, I think it's like 12 to 14 hours through the night. We'll get there in the morning, we'll do a demo. After that, we're headed to Missouri. After that, we're headed to Iowa. It's just a whole big road trip. So let's get packed up and we'll uh, head out there and see what we get into. Okay, folks, we are about to pull into this farm. Let me just tell you that these fields are massive. I just seen a sign back there said that they've been growing rice in this field over here for 64 years. So we are in the heart of rice growing country in the great state of Arkansas. But we're about to pull up and we're gonna see what they think about these drones because I think this is the first time they've seen these drones. It's gonna be wild. We have arrived at the farm. They got quite a bit of bins here. How's it going? Good to see you. You too. Everybody's coming down here from the shop down here and just pull behind the shed and there's a big open field, do whatever we want to do. It's cool. Yep, pull around there and... All right. Mike. That's me. The mushroom thing was not funny. <laughs> oh yeah? Did I get you? No, I was, I was <laughs> yeah, I was a little excited about that. <laughs> so normally when you guys would be using these drones, you're spraying it over rice for fungicide. What would you be applying? It would be herbicide, but Her herbicide. In, the, in the middle of the season, like a foliar application. Okay. So to get started on this field, uh, we would map it. And there's multiple different ways to map it. Map it is creating a boundary, a, a boundary for the drone to be geofenced with inside of that area. You can do it on your phone. You can do it with the drone itself. So, yeah. so, so basically what we're doing is if we're going down this line, he's gonna watch that camera, but then if we bounce into this, it, it'll show us where the yeah, drone yeah, has yeah. flown. And then once we get that done, then we can go ahead and build that boundary around right. that. Now that he's flown this, that gray line is where he flew, which is it's pretty dead accurate based on the satellite. Sometimes the satellites don't quite match up, but that's accurate. And then we would just go in here and use this, which is the cursor. Basically, you would just drop a pin, go up to the other one. You can come over here and check the trailer out. We got the thousand gallon here. We got the inductor tank there if you want to mix up your chemical. And then obviously we built this to run these generators specifically because they charge the batteries the fastest. Right. If you want, you can hop up top and check it out up top. So guys uh, online are telling me like those generators are loud. Down there, they can't even hear us talk, but up here, right. you're fine. For sure with that, the one solid piece. Okay, let's send them. micron size of the droplet. Right now they're 90 microns. So if you really want to control that drift, you turn the micron up, but then your coverage is not going to be as good. It'll do 5.2 acres on one load at two gallons. We're getting drift so you can't see it that well. If it doesn't drift, the prop wash has a slight mushroom at the bottom. Right there's your swath. And you mentioned adjusting the microns. It is a pulsating nozzle or so No, it, it cuts it. So okay. as it comes out, you spin the disc faster to cut okay. the micron. Okay. That is now 200 microns. Before we were at 90. So like right there, we just covered 5.2 acres and we'll just swap them out. They're probably 50%, maybe 40%. Every time you come back, you fill it, you put a new battery in it. 
and these generators will charge those batteries as fast as the drone will use them. Got three, batteries. three batteries for a drone. It is actually surprising how much DJI is working with farmers in America to figure out how to set these up properly for us over here. Cause like, now you guys would probably be more the type of land that they're spraying over there. But when we're in the hills, they didn't know that these are gonna try to go up hills and they'll just like, yeah, it's like doing this number. They literally came over here and rewrote the software. It also does have a flow meter basically tells you if it's empty along with your uh, weight is the sensors that this sits on. Oftentimes you get like air messages, load too heavy for whatever. And it's like, it's not too heavy, but it doesn't stop the drone. Okay, we just got done with this uh, demo here in Arkansas. I think the farmers were really impressed. We had a good turnout. Quite a few of the local farmers came out mostly rice farmers. They've never seen the drones fly like this. They were all impressed on what they could do. Obviously, if you guys seen Drift, we're only spraying water just to show them what they can do. They could tell how accurate the drones would fly in a straight line, get to the end, turn, and come right back. And it's doing it all autonomously. It's doing it all on its own. So the farmers were impressed. It's cold. It's, I don't know, it's raining. It doesn't feel like the South right now, but drove all night slept three hours, got here. Now we're gonna head north, but uh, this is all we got for you guys on this video. If you're wanting to get into it, if you're a farmer and you wanna see this stuff on your farm, reach out to us. Maybe we're in the area and we can come out and show you our trailer. If you guys are looking for a trailer, newwayag.com. We're building them as fast as we can right now to get them out to you guys for spray season. But that's all we got. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, but wait, there's more. You can get the drones and everything from us. Yeah, the whole thing. Okay.